in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Wetlands Protection Act, and the Town of Walpole Wetlands Bylaw. Notice is hereby given by John Hassenjager for the filing of an abbreviated notice of resource area delineation to review the wetland resource area located at Map 19, Lot 183, Pinnacle Point. Plans are on file at the Conservation Commission <coughs> office. The public hearing on the above matter will, will be held in the Walpole Town Hall, 135 School Street, on February 12th, 2020, beginning at 7 p.m. All interested persons are requested to be present. Hearing was held and continued to tonight. <coughs> They've well, requested a continuance, Al. Oh, that's what the first letter okay. is. <coughs> this email is to request a continuance of the public hearing on the abbreviated notice of resource area delineation submitted by Mr. John Hassenjager for assessors map 19, lot 183, until March 25th, 2020. I think it's lot 138, according to the... One, lot, map 19, lot 138. Yeah. DEP oh, file number SE315-1217. Okay, so they've requested um, a continuance to the next available vote of 25. <coughs> and I have a motion to that effect. I move that. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Time, uh, Amy? Uh, we have 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So the hearing's been continued to March 25th at 8 o'clock, the same room, room 112. You guys. <laughs> 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 so we have a few minutes here um, before our next hearing at 715. Mm -hmm. So we have um, these two certificates of compliance or minutes. I don't know, Chairman, whatever you want to go over. Well, let's do the certificates. <coughs> Okay, those are two certificates of compliance for Bristol Square. Um, one of them is, um, <coughs> excuse me, 315979 um, is a order that was issued for work that has not been done and they don't plan to do it and it's expired, so it's a, a non-valid order conditions certificate of compliance. Okay. Okay, so I guess uh, I'll accept a motion to uh, grant a certificate for non-performance, uh, not no work done. I'll move that, I guess. Second. Second. Y you guess. I, I, I'm going to have a question <laughs> after this. Did you or would you? No, 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 I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're 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 awarding a certificate of compliance, compliance. for work not done. Right, that's one of the options yeah. on oh, okay. actual yeah. form I if just it's I out there. I can't remember doing that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. clear right. so they can record well, once it. Once in a while. All once right, all right, fine. It, okay. it, it gets recorded and it clears the title okay. of yeah. the order that was issued. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay, and so the next one is 315193. Um, old. Wasn't that, wasn't that 193? I guess it wasn't that one. Um, well, it does matter. Well, if you're going to go full. I, I know, but n nine seven nine seven nine is the invalid order, and oh. one nine three is and the other one. Like I went backwards. Oh. Uh. Okay, well, <laughs> I can. Uh, She's messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, fix it. <laughs> you can fix it. Yeah, whatever. It's All right, fine. just sign both. Um, any, anyway, so the, the other one, 193, is um, for work that was done to actually build the Bristol Square. So mm -hmm. we couldn't locate the file because it was so old. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but we do have an as-bill of what was, what was built. 
Yeah, that's got a little pond right next to it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, I'll move that. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, I see. I didn't. <coughs> but. So I asked my, my wife that she doesn't have your kids. Uh, <coughs> yeah. 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 And your wife. <laughs> she knows your wife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Did oh. that? I think I did it. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> <coughs> when did you uh, do the house uh, over? Uh, 2005. Okay. Nice. How long did that take? Nine months. Oh, yeah. The contractor said nine months, and I didn't believe it when I made it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's unusual. Yeah. That they uh, held on to the yeah, yeah. timetable. I was like, yeah. really impressed. That is good. <laughs> but I'm impressed that you remember the color of our original house. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to do either of the minutes? <coughs> mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Are, are, what's Manzo Company and Frank Kent? Um, the Manzo Company is the West Street parking lot, which we're, I'm waiting for them to stabilize it. Oh. So it's been on hold kind of until oh. the weather. Okay. And they get out there and fix it. And then same with Lincoln Road is the, the backyard wasn't okay. stabilized. So those are still on hold. So you have minutes from 212 and minutes from 226. Accept a motion for? I'll move the 212. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll vote 226. I'll move the 226. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 What do you got next? Um, well, we have two extension requests. Uh -huh. So we have um, Brookside Village, 164 Pine Street. Um, they they need an extension on their order of conditions, and they'll be in a little uh -huh. while. Um, they're on our agenda also for that minor modification, uh -huh. but they they need an <coughs> extension on their order as well. Well, so you, you want to give them a year extension. That's well, that's that's true. we don't we don't get work the right. work done. So, I accept the Makes motion. Sense. I'll move the extension for Brookside. I'll second that. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then uh, also East Over Glen Condominiums, 32 East Over Road, also needs an extension on their um, order of conditions to finish up their um, <coughs> condo. Okay, I'll set, accept a motion for that. Uh, I'll move that for East Over. Second. Are we holding the check still? We can't oh, yeah, I was going to bring that up. Uh -huh. So East, East Over Road is the um, condominium complex at the end of uh, East Over Road, <laughs> which uh, it's, it's really it's not complete because the developer has not really completed it because of a lot of different issues <laughs> um, but it's essentially owned by the neighborhood association now so they're the one that asked for the request to extend the order so that the developer and they're working with um, <coughs> lawyers as well as their own person to, to try and get the developer to, to finish what they should have finished a long time ago so they've requested for you to waive the bylaw fees on that extension I don't have a problem with that, but uh, does it, the work that needs to be done include uh, fixing the, the wall that's uh, really not? Uh so Eastover Glen is, the Brookside is the wall that we, we looked at yeah. and we've been talking about. E yeah. Eastover no, Glen I mean is, the East Over is a wall, wall. also. Yeah. Um, they, well, they, they need to comply with, with the plan. So. Okay. 
the wall oh, oh, um, at the driveway, yes, also needs pointing yeah. and yeah. fixing. Because it's just eroding right through. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, what, what, what's the commission's? So we want to. Is that a uh, yes on a waiver on the bylaw fees or? Oh. B. For the extension. <coughs> sure. I'll second that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I move that. I'll second, second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Seven fifteen. Okay. So as soon as yeah, sign that. Well, we got some of those things done. That's yeah. <laughs> so does that developer have any other projects in here? Was a mechanism to connect things a little better. <coughs> Agree. Okay, so this is. So the next public hearing is 14 12 North Street, a request for determination. Yeah, I think his colleague right. is here. Uh -huh. Accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Wetlands Protection Act. Notice is hereby given of the intent of John Glosser to abandon the existing failed septic system and construct a new septic system tank and leach field, partially within the 100 foot buffer zone at 1412 North Street in an area subject to the Wetlands Protection Act, in accordance with plans on file at the Conservation Commission. Conservation Commission meeting will be held in the Wobble Town Hall, 135 School Street, March 11th, 2020, at 7.15. All interested persons are requested to be present. Okay. What's, what's this one? That's from Amy. Um, it, yeah, the, the taxes are uh, it's fine on the time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like the Board of Health canceled their meeting, so they haven't had an opportunity to. Due to the primary. Oh, the septic system, so they'll see it. <laughs> the election, the Board of Health canceled their meeting and was scheduled for tonight. In regards to the. Above reference plan, the Board of Health will not meet again until March 17th, which is after the conservation hearing scheduled. I will check with you following your conservation meeting to see if a decision has been made regarding this plan. If no decision has been made, I will place this agenda item on the Board of Health agenda for the March 17th scheduled meeting. Existing one is. Okay. Okay. Assistant, so that's the existing one you can fail that day. Oh, that's why. <laughs> town engineer, Kyle Baldoff. The engineering department received an RDA dated 2-14-20 and an on-site sewage <coughs> treatment and disposal plan of land dated 2-10-2020 by Gloss Engineering. We have reviewed the submitted plan and have no comment on the submitted information. From the Board of Appeals, the above reference property is not currently in front of the Board of Appeals and therefore has no comment at this time. Okay, representing the applicant. Uh, good evening, my name is Donald Seberg. I'm with Glosser Engineering. Uh, as you know, it's the plan is a just it's a failed system and bring it up so that we can see it yeah 
You want me to come right up here, or? Yeah. I can do that. So basically, the uh, people that had originally had a design <coughs> for a system up front, which the bids came in outrageously high, $120,000. John well. was retained. He had done some work in the back. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, the neighbor. And he knew that the soil divide was actually better in the back. So we did some testing in the back here. Uh, and we came up with a, uh, you know, some good soils and, and designed a system right in here. I think we pretty much had tentative approval from the Board of Health. I don't think it's just been official. So we placed a system in here. It's in the grass area. Uh, <coughs> it is within the 100 foot buffer, you know, where proposing silt, siltation control right around the back of it. Uh, and that's basically it. In a nutshell. You know, so it's, where it's are they coming in? Because so can't go through the pools. So no, you gotta no, go. it's coming. To the, the original systems here. They're going to replace the tank here, and they're going to come down here, gravity, and bring it right over into here. So the trucks will come in and out of there. The, so. Yeah, the trucks are going <coughs> to actually come in through this area right through here. Uh, they may have to take like one or two trees out, but originally, if you driven by there. The original, they were going to lose all these trees mm -hmm. in the front. So that is really basically it. Yeah, my only comment was I'd like to see the erosion trail go up either in front of the shed and play area or behind it just because the trucks are coming in and out. Yeah. Um, Would you like it so extended over? Yeah, yeah. Over to the, <coughs> over to the property <coughs> line. Yeah, yeah, over to the property line. Then, yeah. you know, just the tail up so yeah. that it catches anything yeah. with the well, with the sure. trucks coming in and out and, and also encompasses any kind of stockpiling because imagine yeah. if they're, they're digging that out, they're going to stockpile it probably over by the shed or something. Yeah. <coughs> how old is this? This is an old house, is it? It's not that old. I'm not sure how old the house is. It's not that old, but it... It failed, <laughs> and it's actually it's it's. If you go so out there now, you'll you'll know that it's. So failed. are they ma mounding it because of the is the groundwater high? It's or? uh, it's not going to be mounded, but I think the groundwater is a little bit high here. They're, I believe they're doing a presby here. Yeah. So what's that? Presby? That that allows you to get a little <coughs> closer to the groundwater, so you don't have to you don't have to mm -hmm. mount up. Uh, so typically you have to have a four foot separation, but it right, will allow right. you to have two foot separation. Oh. So you can lower it. Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, couple of questions. <coughs> uh, the original system failed. Is that did That's it right fail? Over in here. Title five. Uh, on uh, yeah, it, uh, I'm okay. not. Sure. I, I, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure why it failed, but it's usually okay. groundwater. But then. According to the notes here, the new system is going to be done without PERC testing. Well, the, what they do is because the ground was a little higher and he's going down with it, they send out a soil sample. And then they, they do a uh, analysis, a sieve analysis on the soil sample. That's why that's... But they're not, they're not going to do a PERC test to see... No, because they just do the soil and that's <coughs> how the, the PERC test is uh, Use they use it for uh, analytics they call it they use the soil sample as opposed to actually dumping water in a hole, mm -hmm. which is you no know, it's fine it's just when you have a higher groundwater and you, you if the ground you know if they want to go into this soil down here and use that they just take a sample. Okay, I have no questions. I guess I have a follow up question because I hadn't heard of that. Um, <coughs> So they're taking a soil sample, bringing it into the lab, yeah. drying it? Yeah, they actually basically run it through a, a number of sieves. And then what they do is they separate out like the fines, the coarse, and everything. And then they can tell you what the actual soil is. But isn't the PERC test about how well it drains? And that, that's how it's, that's why the sieve analysis, they use a certain they, they come up with a certain soil sample, and that's... But what happened if you tried to perk it, though? Well, they, they don't perk it because it's in the groundwater. When, they, when they're looking at it, they, uh, they're pulling something out that's actually... It would, the groundwater would come up into the perk hole. So they, mm. they want to go down, and then what they do is they take that out and fill it back up with good soil and use that as the uh, 
the perk rate. So it, it actually pushes up the, uh, the perk rate for it a little bit. But so this plan hasn't been approved by the Board of Health yet. No, not yet. I, I anything is better than a failed system at this point. It's just a formality for them to go through the meeting. I believe they Because uh, anything is better than a failed system. So, yeah. and you can't just say, well, sorry, <laughs> you can't live there any longer because you don't have a subject. But, but the option to put, put it in the bad. front was oh. considered too expensive. So yeah. now so they're so putting it And the soil was worse in the, south, in the front. Where the, uh, where the groundwater is so high that they can't do an in-place perk test. So doesn't seem right. Well, as as long as they, as long as the board of health, as long as they comply with the board of health regulations, it's that's the board that says and it's Title Five yeah. compliant, fit right? to be yeah. designed. I mean, you don't generally have septic systems that are sitting in the ground. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why it's a Presby system. So how does that the Presby system help? It's, it's a with new technology that's been around for. A, a few, quite a few years now, but just because of, it's a, almost like a sock, and it fil in, you filters know, more filters stuff. Filters better. Uh. So what happens is it, is it just kind of goes around and snakes through. Well, my, my opinion is that uh, if we approve this project, we should make it contingent upon the Board of Health <coughs> approving. <coughs> if the Board of Health approves the system that is proposed, then it's okay. Uh, I think this is a, a Board of Health issue more than it is a Conservation right. Commission issue. Yeah. Okay. So as long as uh, you put a condition on there that has to, the yeah. uh, system has to be approved by the board of health. Oh, right. So it's just an, uh, right, it's an RDA, but yeah. we can stick that in. I, I mean, it wouldn't be able to be built if it wasn't approved by the board of health anyway, yeah. so. <coughs> okay, accept a motion to I'll close the hearing. I'll move to close it. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So it's a, it's a negative determination, and it's just under the Wetlands Protection yeah. Act. So we're working on but no impacts to the wetlands. I think that's a negative three, but we can check it. <coughs> can you remember that? Yeah, was yeah it is. Thank you. Place them there. We've got three minutes to kill. Mm. Oh, really? We haven't done anything. Do we have to do anything on the uh, enforcement orders? Um, no, they no. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the enforcement orders. Um, yeah. <coughs> any ZBA so, board yeah. comments yeah. for um, Dupy Street? It's a, another 40B called Diamond Hill Estates. It's um, off of um, 27, and it's there's no wetlands involved. It's all upland, um, but. I re reviewed the plan and, and just as far as comments, normally it may, I think it, I think it's over 40,000 square feet, it probably is, would require a, a, a land disturbance permit. So my comments were just that they, they need to have a stormwater and erosion control management plan showing how they're going to contain the stormwater during construction because it definitely goes uphill. <coughs> so there could be... Um, the stormwater issue. They have to come to us for the stormwater management. No, they don't because it's a 40B, so they oh. circumvent that. And um, I didn't see any roof infiltration. And there needs to be more detail. Where, where is it Sorry. exactly? Where is the? Um, it's Dupy Street, so it it's it's a little sort of almost like a gravel gravel road. It, it's off of 27, right, uh, Amy? Um, 
my 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 Hope Street, whatever it is. Oh. Yeah. You don't know? Yeah. Right. Yes. This is CBA. Yeah. You should know all about it. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <Okay>. Yeah. It, <laughs> okay. It's off of 27. Okay. Um, it's it's where the summit. old Acura dealership used to be. No. Oh, what are you talking Doopy. about? Doopy. Doopy. <laughs> I thought you were on DPA <laughs> board comments. Oh. What is? Oh, it is. But it's <laughs> oh, Doopy Street. Doopy. Oh, that's off High Plains. No. High Plains. Yeah, High Plains. Sorry. Well, Route 27. High that's High Plains. Yeah. 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 Like not <coughs> far off from Hummingbird, kind of like oh, okay. a little bit. I knew up you'd more been there. The <laughs> Your oh. summit and okay. there you go, go. kind of up the hill. Uh -huh. All right. It's hard to see because it's almost like a little gravel driveway that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> doopy. Yep. Doopy. It's a doopy. doopy. It's another Wall Street development board. Mm. Oh, <coughs> he likes it. So. He likes us. Yeah, he, he really enjoys not having to comply with regulations. <laughs> okay, we are at 7.30. So we can, we're just cruising along here. <laughs> On time, which is pretty good for us. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Maybe we can get out so of he'll here read the ad and then any comments and then we'll, we'll head to your direction. In accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, notices hereby given of the intent of Massachusetts Department of Transportation for roadway reconstruction, including replacement of single span highway bridge over the Neponset River located at Route 1A Main Street between Route 27 and Norwood Town Line. Plans are on file. At the Conservation Commission office, the public hearing on the above matter will be held in the Walpole Town Hall, 135 School Street, on March 11, 2020, beginning at 7.30. All interested persons are requested to be present. Okay, so I, I stole one from you. That's Barta Howe. Okay. Okay. Organizing her now. <coughs> Board of Health uh, canceled their meeting because of elections, and they won't meet again until March 17th. So we have no <coughs> comment. Zoning so Board of Appeals? Above reference property is not currently in front of the Board of Appeals, and therefore has no comment. And the town of it, uh, town engineer, you just read that one right there. Town engineer, we have performed a cursor review of the <coughs> NOI and stormwater report <coughs> and filed both to be thorough and well prepared. The plan set has been through multiple reviews by this department and at this point we are satisfied with the current status. The project provides valuable upgrades to pipe systems, catch basins, outlets and other features in the drainage system. Therefore, we are not providing additional comment and recommend the Commission move forward with approval. Yeah. And it's a review just under the um, uh, Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act. So. Representing the applicant. Yes. So, hi, my name is Melissa Langer. I'm an environmental analyst with Mass. Highway Division. And we're here today for the Route 1A Main Street Reconstruction Project. So we are proposing work in BBW <coughs> and underwater, riverfront area, 100-foot buffer zone, and bordering land subject to flooding. And the purpose of this project is to improve roadway infrastructure, reduce traffic backups on entering side streets, and improve safety. And I'm here with our designer, Green International Affiliates. I'm going to let them take it away. Sure. Let you go first if you want. Okay, um, my name is Mike Doobie. I'm an uh, engineer with uh, Green International Affiliates. And um, as part of this project, as kind of previously mentioned in parts, um, the project is begins about 500 feet north of East Street and extends about two miles up to the Norwood Town Line. Um, kind of see it on that. Yeah, it's That's encircled in red on the poster. Um, the project will be full depth reconstruction um, with removal of the existing concrete, uh, reinforced concrete base. Uh, there will be one lane in either direction with five-foot shoulders and proposed new sidewalks. 
As part of the project, we'll be upgrading the drainage systems throughout the project with new pipes, new catch basins, and new manhole structures. We will also be installing um, three new signals, one at Willett Street and Bullard Street, um, one at North Street, and one at Fisher Street for traffic safety improvements within the project. And um, we will also be replacing the Neponset River Bridge, the main street over the Neponset River Bridge. Um, we are proposing um, minor um, improvements and patchwork to the Cobbs Pond culvert headwall and we will be <coughs> proposing um, a culvert extension towards the end of the project at wheel, what is station 124 on our project um, to account for some of the widening. That uh, is a general description of pretty much the scope of work that we're proposing within this two mile stretch along Main Street in Walpole. Danielle Spicer with Green International um, Environmental um, Consultant and wanted to um, break this down a little bit. So this is a little bit of a unique project in the fact that um, we have a bridge component to it as well as the roadway component. We are actually filing the bridge component um, with DEP as a water quality certificate. And part of that is um, to, if, if we hadn't done that, um, Chapter 91 would have been implicated. And the time frame of when this needs to get in, um, we could have missed some. Um, we could have missed some tip funding there. So we have split this project up. However, we had a, a meeting early on. Um, with the agent um, as well as DEP for us to be what we have filed here is showing the impacts for the entire project so that you will see what is being done under the water quality certificate what is being done under the notice of intent so that you have the total impacts in front of you I understand when we get to um, when I talk about the bridge and the upon set basically I want to explain to you what's going on there but under the notice of intent form the jurisdiction isn't there like those impacts aren't there they're basically going to be done under the water quality certificate but we wanted to have full transparency so that you understand what's going on for the entire project and part of that's due because we do have some wetland filling and we have some replication and the replication is all going to be done in one area um, near the bridge so I'm going to actually just come up a little bit closer do we have this too in our um, yes um, so this figure is in the actually the report it's um, in the NOI report it's figure three this is the report. So in the end, oh, 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 which, which of the end? I don't know. Yeah. We, have other yeah. Yeah. we can share. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So basically, as you can see, <coughs> you know, this is the entire little work mm -hmm. along here. Um, oh, God, to bring my stuff down. And we have, um, you know, we have the new only copies. crossing over the Plaza River. So. We also have some color work, work at Cobb's Pond. And then there's a little bit, as um, like was mentioned, that there's some um, wetland impacts all the way up. <coughs> up um, this is actually wetland A up around here. But I'm actually going to show a. <coughs> You want to go to figure 4A in your notice of intent. Okay. So I'm going to um, <coughs> start with, so what we have down here, this Sorry. is the That's impact right. chart, and what we've shown is what are impacts to BBW, what are impacts to land underwater, and what are impacts to bay. And then we've divided it up so you can see clearly what is under the water quality certificate jurisdiction, what's under the wetlands protection act jurisdiction, and then just what's total. So under the, I'll start with the Wetlands Protection Act and then we'll work backwards to the Water Quality Certificate and kind of give you the total. So under the uh, Wetlands Protection Act, we are doing some minor work here at Cobbs Brook. Um, most of the work is going to be repointing, um, some minor you know, work within the culvert, but we don't anticipate major work here at all. Um, we did include some temporary land under water impact, just in case they need to do some dewatering under, um, along there. But again, all of the work is going to be above water. There's um, no work within actually Cobbs Brook or anything like that. So we had some temporary impacts along here. I'm going to jump the wetland impacts within the um, northern tent um, are mostly at the northern portion of the project where we had to extend this headwall due to, as Mike was just mentioned, due to the um, widening of the road here. So there's a small wetland here 
um, where we've got a new head wall that's kind of going uh, um, encroaching into the wetland that we just can't avoid. And so this uh, area is approximately 250 square feet of where we're filling. Um, I will, so it's right up here, as you can spread it here. Um, we are going to be replicating <coughs> all of the impacts of wetland in one area under the Neponza Bridge. Bridge. I will say this is not hydraulically connected to this area. So basically Neponza River and Cobbs Pond are all hydraulically connected and they go this way. Um, as you may know, this wetland here actually goes to the north and goes this way. So it is not, um, unfortunately it's not hydraulically connected, however it is a very small area and it unfortunately also has very steep slopes around this wetland. So we look to see if we could potentially replicate under, around here, but I don't think it's going to be feasible. I don't think it's going to thrive, and it's such a small area that what we wanted to do was to combine <coughs> it with the other um, filling that we were doing and, and make one big large area that we thought would thrive and, and actually work a lot better. Um, there is also an isolated wetland um, over here that we, we do have a small area of filling. Um, we are not replicating for this component because we are not um, subject to the local isolated wetland bylaw. Um, but I, we did just want to point that out. It was you know, approximately 394 square feet. So is that the one, sorry to interrupt you, is that the one near the tavern? Yes. Near Bullard yes. Street? Yes. 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 Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. It, it, it is, which they just said was, yeah. And, and it, I mean, I will say the, um, I, I think you had mentioned yeah. it was questionable yeah. whether yeah. it's really isolated. I think the one um, testing we had done like, was way up here. So it yeah. may not be, but yeah. we had, I think, taken a little bit more of a conservative right. approach yeah, on that. Right, yeah, absolutely. So going, oh, actually, where's the, this is, sorry, I'm going to switch this around. There we go. You know I'm going to stick with wetlands first. Um, so looking at the total wetlands, we also have filled wetlands at the bridge. And mainly the filling of wetlands at the bridge. There's an existing headwall that comes out here that's a drainage discharge. So the wetlands, you've always got a pond river that come here, and then there's they've just it creeped up to where the actual headwall is. Um, because we're putting in a temporary structure over here, we are removing this existing headwall and actually bringing a new headwall down here. So when you add these two areas up, plus um, it's about 368 square feet, plus the 253 square feet, we're approximately filling about um, 620 square feet of wetlands. And then we are proposing replication up here and then um, yeah, no, uh, southwest quadrant. This way. In, in of case the and really, this area um, provided us the, the best area. Um, unfortunately, it's a difficult area to really provide replication. Um, it's you know very developed. There's not a lot of areas where you can really expand some of the existing wetlands um, without some major implications. And so we did some. You know, we went out here on the site, and we actually realized that, you know. It didn't make sense to do it more downstream. It made sense to do it more um, in this area uh, based upon the slopes, the topography, um, and all of that. We're trying to minimize you know, tree cutting. I, I know we're still going to have some here, but we're trying to minimize it as much as possible. Um, along this lines, we are also um, filling, or working within borderland subject to flooding associated with the Neponset River as well as Cobbs Brook. Now, what we understand when we filed a um, water quality certificate, they don't actually look at boiling land subject to flooding. It's not one of their thresholds. However, we wanted to make sure you guys um, actually saw, we did do the calculations to show how much we are filling within um, boiling land subject to flooding and how much we are compensating. So we are compensating on a foot by foot basis. We did provide that table in the notice of intent. Um, and mainly that this is for your information. We're going to include it with a WQC, but it's not a threshold that they're going um, to approve um, or regulate. So as you can see in this area, the dark um, blue area is where we are work within um, boarding land subject to flooding. And then this light blue is area where we're actually compensating. And part of that's because we're cutting down the abutments, the existing abutments working behind them. So we're able to actually do the majority of the <coughs> compensation um, with those abutments right there. So there is a table in there. 
under the um, Wetland Protection <coughs> Act area, we do have some work over at Cobbs Pond where we actually are working within borderland subject to flooding. However, all we're doing is um, putting riprap down at the outfall, so we're going to be removing any soil um, and putting the riprap down so we're matching existing grades. So there's no filling in that area. So we're matching existing grades over here. So you'll see on the table, it will give you the square footage of borderland subject to flooding, but it will say zero cubic feet because we're not um, filling any of the areas over there. So that basically is the summary for the impacts. Um, again, and you can see kind of the total down here. We do have some, uh, we talked about the temporary land underwater. We do have some temporary um, land underwater impacts associated with the bridge and some bank impacts that basically are just um, very minor right here with the grading right along here. Um, and then they're all um, you know, summarized over here on the right so you can see that. Um, Excuse me. The stormwater, as we mentioned, we are upgrading the drainage system throughout here. We were limited in the fact there is a, um, a slight increase in impervious there due to the addition of the sidewalk along this, um, along the corridor. Um, unfortunately, we, we were not able to implement proprietary BMPs or you know infiltration BMPs that would mitigate that increase just due to the limited right-of-way, utilities, high groundwater, close proximity to wetlands, it's just, it's very difficult to try to find areas. So we're meeting the stormwater to the maximum extent practical. Um, and we are allowed to do that, obviously, as a redevelopment project. And this is also, I think I mentioned at the beginning, a limited project as well. So I think that's kind of the summary, and we'd love to open it up to questions. I have one question Sorry. at the beginning. Uh, when the Traffic lights were installed at uh, Cobbs Brook there at Cobbs Pond for the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Somehow or other, we lost our curb cut to service Cobbs Pond. So with no curb cut at Cobbs Pond, we have a difficulty with our uh, contractor that goes in there to clean the weeds out of Cobb's Pond. So I'm asking you, uh, has this uh, project in that area restored our curb cut that we lost at that point? So where was the curb cut, can I ask? So that would, yeah, yeah. So I don't think we, because the location, we, the base mapping we have right now doesn't show the curb cut, we didn't show a new one in our plans. But if that's for access, I'm sure there could be uh, curb cut replaced in that location, um, especially if it's for maintenance of, of the Cops Brook. Yeah, so where, where exactly is that? Well, okay, if that vertical line is the It's the brook. The yeah, brook. It's, it's the cover, yeah. Then this is the cover right here. Uh, so which plan to is the that? left What's of the that uh, would be uh, an area where we used to have a roadway in to service the pond. In here? Well, well more, more up uh, way. Right yeah. Here. Mm. Wait, which plan is that? I can't read it from it. This four is 4A. Four 4A. Four four a. A. Sorry, so it's not uh, going to be in there. This oh, is the not. blow up. The um, car is Yes. Do you know what she is being on drainage? For the plans? Yeah. Okay, uh, <coughs> so you basically are looking for maybe um, to reestablish an access over here. Yeah, uh -huh. it's sheet 122. Way. Because you see, when when we have a guy go in there with his airboat to spread the uh, the uh, chemicals to yeah. take care of the weeds, uh, they have to go find some place where they can get some kind of a ramp to get up over the curbstone, and that's a real Problem. All right, so we can, right we can look at so somewhere. Yeah, we can look into that. That property is listed yeah. as a, an Article 97 property, so that's part of, um, we're actually, part of this hearing, we're looking to um, get your sign off on rights of entry for that property as well. So um, I guess that's, I just wanted to bring that See, we had a curb cut there for at least 50 years, where, where, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. Do you know where it was, Al? Yeah, where was it? So this is the pond. This is the sewer line. This is the entrance to <coughs> Stop and Shop. 
This is Rock and Federal Credit Union now. Does it go up next to the bag? Was this maybe maybe it was somewhere near this proposed temporary easement? Yeah, that's probably <laughs> where it is. Sure there's a the property connects around the back side of the bank. And yeah. There's yeah. a narrow like, strip of property that. Oh, yeah. No. Who's it there? Well, the Conservation Commission owns the pond. Right. Okay. And we used to have access oh, into it there. That could be it. Um, on the previous sheet, on sheet 121, um, there's a narrow strip of land between um, 564 Main Street on the right side and Phoenix yes, Walpole 600 Main Street. That is also listed as um, yeah, that's, prob that's probably the same property. So is that is that the location? Does that, that sound right? It's probably. Well, no, that's the other side. Yeah, of that's the, the other side. Yeah, so it's over this side. It's all one property. It's all yeah. one tax. Here it is. Uh, is this sheet right here? So at any rate, w we need to have that reestablished so wherever it's shot. practical to do that. Okay. And um, uh, it doesn't make any sense to do all this work and not get that back. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the only reason I bring it up. Okay. I got it. So I suspect that somewhere in this area. So if you can work out something and figure out, uh, now I'd be willing to walk with somebody down there if they wish. Uh, so I'm assuming it's somewhere in, in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either that or we can see. Is that the driveway for the bank? I, said, yeah, I believe that's I, I don't yeah, think we can tell from, from these uh, drawings uh, at the moment. Maybe 10 years ago. Well, when they put the traffic lights there for the stop and shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was to the right side of the bank or the left? It was between the <coughs> culvert and the bank. Okay. Between the culvert. Yeah. So opposite the gas station. No, no not, not opposite. Exactly the no. Okay. no. Well, the, B the BP gas station? Opposite Over. side of the street. Opposite side of the street. Yeah. From yeah. the gas station. More skewed towards the, the left, I guess. The, okay. the location was between the culvert and the bank. Who knows is Roger. Yeah, Roger would. <laughs> Roger knows all. I, I didn't know that was yeah, well, we can investigate that more. We potentially might reach out to see if there's so any more information on that driveway. So I, I would be happy to meet with somebody there some historical drawing someday. Yeah, yeah. Aren't there any historical yeah. drawings? It, it's not even historical. It's ten years ago. No, I know. That's yeah. well. It's it, ten years. <laughs> the last time the road was ripped off. Yesterday's history. <laughs> Yesterday's history. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, okay. I had a call I had to take. So <laughs> sorry. So did you figure out where this? I don't think we figured out where we okay. looked to see if we can research and figure right. out. Right. So I think the key would be on town land, someplace yes, exactly. near near where a boat would be yeah, able to go into the axis of the pond yeah yes. is there the only question I would have is are you looking for a driveway to be built beyond that or just the no. opening just in the curb. in the curb cut? no just get the curb cut so okay. the yeah, guy with, with his boat he can back his trailer in there and and launch right. his airboat okay. <laughs> you, you don't want it paved no yeah. no yeah. Yeah. it's been yeah. a dirt dirt uh, right away for a long time right and there's this is sort of that area where the sewer line is seems like that. So we located that. Um, do I have? Right, and I think I was looking at sheet the sewer line. Yeah. 63. Oh, okay. I thought we showed the sewer line. So the sewer line is on 63 near near the proposed temporary easement. Yeah, it's just to the left of the oh, water line. So even on this plan, so you can see there's a. Um, 15 inch RCP right here. So this is where that existing we have that located. Um, so you can see the replication area is oh, uh, right. much further down from where that Oh, lies. right. You're talking about the bridge. Yeah. I was yes. talking about the X, the pond. But oh, yeah, sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> I was bringing up the one that you had Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. To make yeah. sure we located Right. That. Now that replication area, that's n near the car wash. Yes. Across the street. Sort of a low oh, area off the yeah. side. Yeah. Yes. 
near the car wash. No. <clears throat> so I was going to ask, who, who owns that? Because cause I'm, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ownership that I can read easily on any of these. Like, who, who owns that? So that is on the property of the car wash, but as part of the right-of-way process, we'll be taking a wetland easement, which um, has language to establish the wetland area. So what's surprising me is we don't have, like, tons of abutters here tonight. Um, but I guess... So we, we've met with everybody. Oh, um, we've okay. We've met with all the abutters on the, on the entire corridor um, and had individual conversations about each of the impacts that are mm. specific to their property. Okay. Okay. And that's probably why I'm here. I work with the right-of-way bureaus who are responsible mm -hmm. for um, acquiring all the interest in the property, budding the project, build the project. And so part of the reason why I'm here is that we're impacting two of these two town-owned parcels that are under the care of the Conservation Commission. So we're looking for uh, permission, rights of entry, to do the temporary work that's necessary um, that mm -hmm. is just principle. Okay. Uh, if I understood the presentation correctly, uh, there will, this project will not require any uh, lowering of the level of Cobbs Pond? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to yep. make that clear. Um, what's your timeline for this project? For the construction? Yeah. So this project will be advertised in September with um, construction beginning next spring. Um, the first part of construction is going to be for the relocation of utility poles and private utilities to get set up to uh, for the widening of the roadway and then also the replacement of the bridge. So we're anticipating um, approximately four seasons of construction beginning next spring. And the bridge, are you putting any temporary structure there when you're replacing it? Or you yes, and there's, there's, well, just for pedestrian. A pedestrian, so okay. For pedestrian, yes. there'll be a temporary pedestrian bridge right I see, here. I see. But the rest of it will be maintained. Yep. As you yep. as you replace mm -hmm. it. Okay. Uh -huh. Um no, I guess that's it for now. <laughs> Any Betsy? No, no, that's it. Thanks. Okay, so this is a project that uh, we've been promised for twenty years, uh, so it's good to see it coming yeah, to the fruition to here. And uh, something that is needed. Uh, my only question is, uh, in the construction of the Naponsa River Bridge, uh, do you uh, design an increased uh, capacity under the bridge, for increased flow? I, I believe the hydraulics are to occur. I don't think it affects the capacity at all, because the abutments are going to stay in place. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I saw purple lines there that looked like it was wider so yes no that's just so know. this is um so this is actually where we're compensating and that's basically because we're cutting down the existing okay. covering okay. we're holding behind them so okay. there's just flood oh. storage there that now is available that wasn't available before um this is actually where there's flood flight filling outside of the bridge just along the slopes due mm -hmm. to the widening of the bridge but this it's not actually within the Naponsa river it's a filling of the, the slopes along so, so the capacity will stay the same as yes. uh, is currently, and that's not a bad thing. But uh, uh, in my recollection, I've seen plenty of uh, water in that area, but I haven't seen it uh, actually uh, flood over 1A at that bridge. So evidently the capacity is adequate for mm. an average 100-year storm or so. Well, and I so, believe we yeah. are also, at, with the compensatory bias, actually cutting down the abutments, we're providing more than what we're going to build on the outside. Yeah. So. Um, but it's above the ordinary high water line, so yeah. it doesn't really, mm -hmm. you know, affect the, the main channel of it. It's more for the, the flood. Yeah, I've seen water on North Street, but uh, not on 1A there at yeah. that spot. So... Uh, does anybody in the audience have, I guess there isn't anybody. There's too many Okay, so. Anyone? Uh, any other questions? Um, no. I know that bridge is over 100 years old, I, I believe, so it's uh, it's been around a while. Yeah. yeah. You remember yeah. when it was built. I, well, Roger, Roger <laughs> might. Roger I don't. <laughs> 
Roger might, but I'm. He would have asked if you went to historic commission. <laughs> All right, no, no other questions. Well, I can remember back uh, <coughs> at least as far as uh, 1948 or, or slightly before that, so that bridge was there then. So, so we did mention we are filing a water quality certificate too, so, um, you know, I know that this type of replication will kind of fall under them, but if it's, um, you know, however you want to condition it so that you guys still have, you know, some say with a water quality certificate as well, you know, feel free. But we're a little bit delayed on that. Um, we just had a couple things kind of come up, so that's looking to be submitted within the next week or so. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to, I know that potentially Wayne will probably look to you for some guidance. Um, I think well, one of the main things we look at the two growing season is a solid two years. So yeah. uh, so people don't that but I guess I'll accept a motion to close the hearing. I'm with that. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you have any uh, special conditions here? Um not that I prepared, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> um but, you know I, I guess I, you know we would recommend Water quality cert include the two-year period for the replication area, and that uh, that it be reviewed by botanists. But <coughs> they usually do that report yeah. and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, and that I think that's in our uh, in the mass aspect. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I, I I don't specifically. Um, I think you know they did a very thorough job. Guys, <coughs> did a really good thorough <coughs> job of your presentation and your plans and everything. Um, so I don't have anything specific that I would put in. Okay. Do you want to vote it? Yeah. Yep. We'll uh, accept the motion to accept Landis's order. I'm with that. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, so, so the. Sorry. Nope, sorry. Just two for the okay. So the documents for the temporary easement, I, I know several several meetings back we discussed these documents for the for the temporary easement um, and we worked on them a little bit with the town council I um, I don't have cops I didn't you have copies okay I meant to print them out but I didn't I guess the file copy I, I think that it sure. just included a um, there must be another copy. signature by the chair. Let's see, if this one see is I didn't get one of these. Okay, well, you know what? I'll just right? tell Roger about it. This is beast. Okay. I might to look at this a little bit. So there's two separate documents, there's two separate tax parcels that are impacted, so there's two residential uh, documents. Attached to each one is a, a map of you know, just an area that we're that we're looking at. And it requires conservation commission chair signature. I don't have a problem with that. Right. So this is for them to have temporary easement on Concom land to um, okay. stage okay. such. <coughs> My only comment about that is that when the uh, project is complete and you clean up, don't leave behind any buried asphalt. <laughs> don't bury the asphalt. Because I'm still cleaning up one in Norwood when 1A was rebuilt in the Norwood stretch uh, back in the 50s. Uh, and they buried a bunch of yes. extra asphalt and it had to be cleaned up before we could accept the parcel as conservation land. <coughs> I didn't hear them promise not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to just vote for the conservation land to be used for a temporary easement for this project? I'll move that. I'll second. Okay. He's gonna sign all these. <laughs> no, I just need, I I just had enough for people to review. Oh, okay. Oh, you need oh, I so I'm gonna mix them up. So there's, you only need one of each. 
Do you guys want to look at these copies? <laughs> Ones. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna mix mix them up. So why don't you just give me one of these? Yeah, you know, very easy here. <laughs> okay, great. So he doesn't sign. Okay, so Al, you just have to sign the bottom on that one and the bottom on this one. Okay. So. So are you are you gonna bring these four to the select board or yeah? So you'll bring these forward to the uh, select yeah, board and what's the best? You tell me what's the best way to handle that. Um original and forward it internally or if you want I mean if you want to leave them leave it with me, then I can bring it to the board secretary for the board of select and okay. have her put okay. on their agenda and then get the copies, okay. signed copies back to you. Okay. That would probably be the easiest for you okay. rather than going through. <coughs> Attach that to it. Okay, great. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You know, that's just like town meeting. Oh, the Amy, your, your, oh. your lipstick just went over the edge. Oh, yeah. The, the big yeah. money articles pass through with very few comments, <laughs> but for uh, a stapler or uh, some <laughs> little thing, there's all kinds of discussion. Oh, yeah. Well, except that there can't be a lot of discussion about this, right? I mean, they're, well, this they, is going they to have a right several. to do this. No, but they also, they this, do. this man has put in her <laughs> notes. This is it. Yeah. <coughs> it's not like we can say, move the no. move 1A over to yeah. the left. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this has been, I've been in town 27 years. I've been talking about this since almost. Yeah. 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 Well, we had this, a design once. Uh, before us, but uh -huh. nothing ever happened. Yeah. yeah. If you want to just email me yeah, about the topic, yes. that would be a great spot. Okay. Thank you. It's designed for the thousand year flood. The thousand? <laughs> well, that's what happened in Wall Street. They redid it. Oh, uh, this right. pretty close um, out of the yeah. outflow there. There's. Uh, that show that's Old Town Road. We have one more hearing. Oh, I forgot about that. That's a continuance. That's a continuance. This is Old Town Road and they're requesting a continuance. Criteria. Yikes. On the notice for the DOT. Bank should be zero. She's going to send us zero. But recently, what, eight years? Eight, ten years ago. Do you want the bond? Glendis, can we go up and close the Almacar? So you're. He's got okay. it. By that you might be. Uh, you might be on the hook. Um, Hopefully well, not. <laughs> the Ponset River watershed. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. One more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just have one more thing to open. In up. accordance yeah. with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Wetlands Protection Act, and the Town of Walpole Wetlands Protection Bylaw, notice is hereby given of the intent of George L. McCary to construct. A three-car garage over the existing driveway at 23 <coughs> Old Town Road, Walpole. Plans are on file at the Conservation Commission office. The public hearing on the above matter will be held in room 112, Walpole Town Hall, 135 School Street, on October 9th, 2019, beginning at 7.15. All interested persons are requested to be present. The hearing was held and continued. Uh, I have a lot of... Uh, please accept this request to continue the public hearing without testimony to March 25th. George L. McCary, applicant. I will accept a motion to continue the... I'll, I'll move that. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So 8.15. 
so the public hearing's been continued to March 25th um, at 8.15, room 112. For Old Town Road, 23 Old Town Road. <coughs> Okay. What are okay. we doing next? <coughs> the minor modification. Minor modification, mm -hmm. matter of So I think what was on our agenda um, at the last last meeting, there was a discussion on the minor modification for Meadow Brook Realty and Trust, um, Brookside Village, DP 315-1093. The request is um, for a minor modification for to replace the concrete Allen wall with the rock wall construction. Um, since that hearing, there's been <coughs> a letter submitted from a report submitted from the the applicant from the Dempsey Group, their structural engineer, and then also a letter from Brookside Condominium um, Board of Trustees, actually addressed the building. Commissioner Michael y Yanovich. So, I have copies. Well, I have copies oh. here that you can oh. look at. Two, I, I have the. Oh, you have it. <laughs> 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 not going um, so the the app the applicant is not here tonight. Um, he had a, uh, a an, another. Um, thing he had to go to, he did s send me this email um, later today, earlier today. So. You want to read that out? Yeah. From Mike Curatola. To Landis and the Conservation Commission. We have furnished the board with an as built of the detention pond wall from GLM Engineering, along with a letter from a registered professional structural engineer. The structural engineer has established that the boulder wall is an acceptable alternate to the Allen Block wall, and with that being said, it is our contention that the boulder wall is an alternative wall to the Allen Block wall. Okay. With concerns brought to our attention from the residents of Brookside Village Walpole and with recommendations of remedies for the small amount of erosion, we will be filling in the chinks in the wall to avoid future erosion concerns. We will also review the as built of the wall this coming week and discuss it with the board. We apologize that we have not had a chance to review the plan for it was sent over to us late today. We will begin work on the wall within the week and establish some timelines with the board. Thank you. Now, do we have a, a plan that shows the new proposal for this rock wall and what it should be like when it's done? No. Not a plan per se. They did an as built plan. Uh, all, all that is was provided was the plan 
in the original request for minor modification where um, it just shows the you know the original plan that was approved and that the modification would be the rather than the Allen block retaining wall material um, using rock. <coughs> But since the location wouldn't, wouldn't change, um, just the material, they didn't submit a plan. So I think, I, I, I mean, what's before the commission at this point is just the request for minor modification to change to <coughs> modify the materials used to, to construct the wall. With both, I, I think everyone agrees that the wall as constructed needs work. It sure does. Uh, my, my contention is that just a, a bunch of loose stones put in a row uh, is not a retaining wall, and this is a, supposed to be a retaining wall. Uh, and the present condition is that the uh, soil erodes in between, and uh, there's nothing to stop it from doing that. Uh, personally, I have nothing against rock walls as long as they're constructed properly to uh, prevent future erosion. But uh, I haven't seen any proposals uh, that tells me how they plan to do that. I guess we need to have the uh, contractor and the engineer come and explain to us how they plan to do that. So th this is what they submitted from the, um, from, this is what they submitted from, from their structural engineer that they're going to chink the holes in the wall. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well. So they don't say to chink with what though. So I, I think I, I yeah. might agree with Al that you, you might want to fill in the blank on what you're chinking the wall with. More specifics. Yeah. 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 Stones, okay, what? so can the board vote? Let's just go the one step being both the, the modification. I mean, I think everyone agrees that the wall is not, that the wall needs work. Right. However, okay. what's before the board at, at this point is if it's a minor modification to build a rock wall. Yeah. So, I, yep. So I could vote for this being a minor modification as long as the wording were, you know, a, a properly built rock wall with the with the correct grades and with no erosion, or or, or some wording like that, is a modern is a minor modification. Well, that's a separate I, issue, right? I just don't want anyone to no, sort no. of think that this is a, a done deal. No. And, and well, I would think they have they have to build the rock wall at the same specs that the plan that was approved by the Conservation Commission shows. Right. That the, that the grades okay. have to meet the top of the wall and right. So let's say that it can't be eroding and, <coughs> and everything that has to be. So let's put all that verbiage in if we're allowed to, because I, I just we just keep getting into misunderstandings with condominium developers. And, 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 you know, and then things that don't get done, and then things that end up, you know, being... And in the correct location. The, you know, if uh, it looks to me like uh, a rock wall with uh, random rocks uh, is hard to uh, keep in line and comply with the location is specified in the plan. You know, they just push them any old place and and that doesn't uh, come into uh, okay, compliance. Can, can but Landis, actually, can we say uh -huh. yes, it is a, a modern, my, minor modification to have a properly built with proper grades rock wall 
advice would be like, yeah, I think. Uh, so, Kim, you think, yeah. you, what, what do you mean when you say proper? So I yeah. think to so comply with the plan that's been approved by the commission. Um, okay, comply with the by comply with the problem. grades and comply with the erosion control. I, I just I, to me stuff needs to be spelled out because they just we seem to go in circles with stuff not being spelled out. So I agree. So, so, so when you say grades, proper, you have to what is proper? Yeah. Correct yeah. Proper grades, to you may be something completely different. So to the me. correct yeah. grades <laughs> according to the plan, the correct grades which are not correct yeah. now, and the correct mm. uh, right. And the correct and the oh, okay, okay. And, <laughs> and, the, and the correct um, <laughs> degree of erosion control or some such. It's the old wives too. Well, so they they've indicated in the email and in the Dempsey report that that there needs to be work on the wall so that there is not erosion coming through yes. the boulders that are there. But the structural engineer is saying that it's structurally okay. sound wall, but it does need yep. those areas where we saw where the dirt was coming through, right. that those need to be um, addressed. And addressed. Right. So, yes, I, I do think it's a minor modification. However, in addition, those things need to be done, as you said. And I, and I want, so are we allowed to say that? Or, or do we just say, okay, good. Yeah. So that's, that's the gist good, of it, right? It, and we have been saying that, that's been my message to him, is right. like, the wall is not in compliance right now with the plan. Right. The, even if you go out, when we went out and took a look, right. there's, and, and, and in, in the grades. Dempsey report, it says it also, you can see the grades are falling over the top of the wall, and right. it shouldn't be like so. that. Those that things need to be, need to be addressed, right? Yeah. And so what I told told him is you you need to put put together um, a plan of how and when you're going to do that. So I think that's what right. you need is okay. how and when you're going to do that. Right. Okay. Does that include the roof drains? Is that something else? Well, that's that that has the roof drains. Yeah, the roof drains have to be fixed as well. Right. <clears throat> and after the sidewalk, I did send him a, a emails with the things that we noticed that were mm -hmm. not compliant. Okay. All right. Could you explain what was wrong with the roof drains? They weren't tied into the proper, um, they were just coming out on the surface, right, weren't they? Right, so all the roof drains are supposed to be tied okay. into a pipe that oh. then goes down to the um, detention basin. Yep. But they're not. The manhole. They're not connected to it. They weren't all connected, and some of the first, mm -hmm. some of the first units were connected to PVC pipe that was then just stuck through the basin and it all supposed to have been tied into the manhole on spot now I guess there's a question that isn't ours to answer mm -hmm. the contract that homeowner has or a unit owner has with the builder uh, if the unit was sold with uh, the uh, impression that there would be a concrete block wall there and all of a sudden the uh, contractor put the uh, substitute wall that that's not our issue that's uh, an issue between the uh, homeowners and the uh, builder not with us we don't control uh, what the uh, inside of a residence is for example uh, we only require that uh, the building is built uh, <coughs> in the right right size to the right footprint and uh, we don't really care what he does inside so there's some issue there that i don't know if that's uh, relevant to this yeah, we're not and, talking and about the inside of no the but but uh, we, we also don't get have to get involved with the uh, the contract with a, it was a concrete block wall or a, a, 
a stone retaining wall as long as it's a retaining wall that does its job. If that were entirely true, then nobody would be asking us for a minor modification. So somehow the buck is stopping here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Me, can we? But I, I think that uh, the wall that's there now, a uh, so-called wall, it doesn't meet the uh, specifications as intended in the design of the property. So, so will the wording do? It's a minor modification yeah. as long as the new wall, the replacement wall, is equal to providing, providing that. It, it, yeah. It, right. Yeah. Well, like, for example, we don't get involved in what brand oil water separator we have on a project as long as it meets the same specifications. Mm -hmm. Right. So the yeah. wall needs to do the same thing right. as we intended it to do. If it right. does the right. same thing. But I think it needs to be spelled out only because... I agree with you. Because me. it just feels like oftentimes on this commission, there are misunderstandings that go on for <coughs> months and years um, about, you know, what was I supposed to be doing again? You know, with violations and things. Yeah. Right? So, so, right. so this is... But, no. Landis, you're giving me a... Because <laughs> I don't think... I, I don't know. What, what, are you, what examples are you talking about? Excuse me, can we have input or yeah. are we not allowed? Yeah. We're just going to finish our discussion. No, no, I'm not going to give a whole bunch of examples. It's my feeling no. that sometimes you've got to spell some things out because people just don't. It's often that they just don't want to do it. Yeah, that's, that happens a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, so we, we can tell about. them, and I can tell people from here to eternity what they need to do. But I want it right. They, won't, they may not do it. And then, then you, there's enforcement and fines and that stuff. But, yeah, I think the, the clearer you can be yes. on your expectations, the, the better. And that's why I've always, you know, seen it sort of as two issues, the material just, and I think the good example was a, is, um, a water quality unit is it you know a storm scepter or is there a contact whatever as long as it's you can pick which one you want as long as it's doing what it's intended to be doing as long as so it, i i agree with the yeah. same and to say that it's just a bunch of boulders that are willy-nilly putting there i don't know if i can totally say that when we have a report from a structural engineer saying it, it's a structural wall so and unless you're unless you're totally disregarding that person's professional opinion and saying well when I look at it it looks like a willy-nilly wall but when the <coughs> structural engineer looks at it they're saying it's structurally sound but okay what he's <laughs> saying is that they're not moving that they're staying still and they're not moving but they're not doing what our intention for a retaining wall is but there's a certain amount of accordance in these two opinions yeah. from the engineers both acknowledge that something's got to be done about the erosion. Yeah. So, so they're Agreed. agreeing. Yeah. And I think we need to reinforce that so that, so that, so that a few months from now when nothing's been done, um, you know, there's not like, so what did you say again? Um, no, I think it just needs, so well, they, right. in the they, grade. You can, they you can reference the letters if you want. Well, yeah, so you why reference. don't you, so I, I suggest you, you give them a date, a timeline, because yeah. they won't get a certificate of compliance until they've met the requirements of the plan, um, but if you want to give them a, a particular timeline, that well, let's helps. When I ask, shall, can we ask the homeowners association our opinions? If you want. All right, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm Bob Atwood. I'm one of the trustees at Brookside. Um, Kevin Flannery and Armand um, Passan are also trustees. And um, Craig Barnes is the structural engineer that prepared the structural report that we submitted to you folks. Um, I think I'd, I'd like Craig to talk about some of the structural issues because it does impact on a lot of the things that you folks are talking about. Um, I think that his report supports the fact that the boulder wall that's been constructed and honestly in my opinion any boulder wall in that location in such close proximity to the footings and the buildings and so on is not an equal to the engineered wall that was approved by the planning board and, um, and that the wetlands permits were were issued around um, and um, we believe the Commission should not 
allow for a minor modification because we've been at this for a long time with them over a couple of rounds of their putting band-aids on things and they just don't fix it no matter what they do so um, I think there's, there's you're, you're looking for a clear pathway to um, to dictate to them what it is you want to see the engineered wall does that very clearly <clears throat> there is no doubt about what wall is required based on the section that the detail that was presented in the approved drawings. It's an engineered wall, there's a certain height, there are elevations set, it's kind of footings that are set. Um, there's a whole lot of detail in that, um, and that's crystal clear, I believe, as to what's required. Um, the, um, so, the, and, and the other thing I want to say is that I believe at this point that there needs to be a third party engineer that approves what's built and oversees what's built so that we know what is in fact built and it's in compliance with what the commission orders. So with that, I'd like to ask uh, Craig if he would give you a rundown on his opinion about the structural issues and a lot of which you folks are struggling with right now. So, And I just want to point out that uh, before Craig talks, you, you've got those two engineer reports in front of you. One from Dempsey, who of course he gave you a report last time, st a stamp report, and he didn't even see the wall, and yet still stamps the report says, yeah, it's good. So of course you know the second report he's going to send in, he's not going to reverse himself and say, oh no, this wall is terrible, and my first report was nonsense. Uh, his, both of his reports have no credibility compared to Craig's report. I, I don't think he can give his report any weight at all. He certainly can't look at them equally. And I, and I think Betsy's on to the, the right track here saying you can't give this builder any wiggle room on the wall. The, the plans say Allen block wall or equal, which in my understanding means another kind of block. That's, that's all it is. And I think, I think if you want to make things clear to him, that's how you do it. Put the blocks in, like you said you would originally. Craig, do you, uh, you want to fill them in on your observations? Okay, I have been engaged to look at facts, not uh, to be an advocate. And uh, the facts are, in my opinion, very obvious. And I'm not in the habit of criticizing another professional, so I will not get into Mr. Dempsey's report or characterization. But on site, there is a wall of approximately 50 to 75 feet that was built as is indicated on the plans. The plans, uh, through whatever process, the developer had an engineer put them together. That was the Allen Block wall. And that section of the wall was built. That detail would be carried by reference to all the other walls on the site. So to go from the Allen Block wall that people that now visit the site and decide they're going to buy a home there, they have an exemplar of what it is they expect. Even at that, that is minus the capstone that the Allen Block wall calls for and the protective fence barrier on the top. Uh, to stretch one's imagination to say that the same detail is replicated in the stone wall is really quite a stretch. Now if one gets into the design of the wall that's directly behind the condominium units, then the designer of that system, whether it was the engineer or the architect for the developer or the Allen block folks, they had determined that the travel behind or above that second section of wall was sufficient to cause an endangerment situation, so they required a capstone and uh, a chain link fence atop it. So to leave it in anything less than what the exemplar shows, without the cap, without the fence, creates a liability that could very well fall onto other fixed. parties because you have an endangerment situation. It's not structural. And it's fairly obvious that one that has 
a vertical surface made of concrete elements precast and is detailed on the plan was replicated fairly well without the fence in the field. <coughs> and to extend that same uh, graciousness to a, frankly, a rather rubble wall uh, is just a real stretch of imagination. The longevity of the Allen Block wall would be a minimum 20 to 25 years. The stone, the stone pile will be constantly in need of maintenance. Uh, it will continue to erode and have to be built back on a regular basis. They're just not equal products. They are not the or equal provision that we engineers deal with on a regular basis. So oh. I, I, I would say that I agree that what is shown on the plan is for there to be a cap and for there to be a fence. And I believe the um, building inspector is saying that there needs to be a um, guardrail all need to be done. A absolutely. And if they can't do that on the wall they built, then they can't have the wall that they built because that's what the plan shows and if they can't do that then they have to do something else so I I definitely agree agree with that that's what we're gonna hold them to they have to they have to comply with the plan yeah I think in their email that, and I uh, also just wanted to say is the first report all he was stating is if you build a rock wall it's structurally comparable to the to the um, alum wall. He, he wasn't certifying the wall that was built. See, the way you have to kind of look at this is if the wall hadn't been built at all and they wanted to build the rock wall, could it be structurally sound? And that, that the first report was, was to that, not that what was built, if what was built was. Well, still. The second one it. was going out there and looking at the wall that was actually built and giving us a report. I think you really, fair enough, you have to look at yeah, it. Yeah, I think it has to be in uh, in the email. I think he said something that he was going to contact us about getting yep. together and looking at the wall. Well, we're still waiting for the call. Well, this we don't need to look at the that, wall. That was again. Today dated March 11th. Dated oh, oh, so March 11th. He's going to meet with us tomorrow. Um. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not with you. <laughs> Not with me. He does say something. Today's about. March 11th. Oh, that's right. Okay. No, yeah. no what... <clears throat> They just got the as built. Um, the as built of the wall was just done, so they need to look at the as built and how it was constructed. The grades are wrapping into the wall, and then figure out what they need to do to comply. Wasn't that supposed to be done on March 9th? And this is exactly the pattern that we've dealt with. With it started a year ago with flooding on one side, the need for a storm drain, the need for serious grading work. Then it went to paving and landscaping, blah, 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 and they do not perform what they commit to do in any timely fashion at all. Yes, I think if, if you're able to hold them to what they said they do in their plans, then I think that's what we're asking you guys to do, if you can do that. And we take... And then it's clear, very clear to him what he has to do. We oh, take pretty strong exception to the thought that... Um, given what's there now that it's possible to make changes to it to make it equal to an engineered wall not an Allen I don't care who makes it an engineered precast interlocking wall with a foundation and the right elevations in terms of height and grading above it I don't see how they can possibly do that with the structure that's in the way and not capable of taking another two feet a fill on top of it and expecting the rocks are going to stay there. They won't. And I think that, that uh, our opinion is the Commission should uphold the originally approved design um, for its function and its purpose um, as a stable long-term wall to protect the, the houses and to prevent erosion into the wetland. Okay, let me ask you a question. Can I see the, the plan, the original plan? It's in the folder. Oh, go ahead, Al, sorry. On North Street. North Street? In the vicinity of uh, the collapsed greenhouse. You know yeah. what I'm talking no. about? No, I don't. You don't use North Street. 
No, where's North Street? Oh, I thought there was a plan for Well, North Street is down by the end of the It's down near Papaginos and I'm not like familiar with it, though. Okay. Well, find North Street and make a visit. That's for sure. Going towards Bubbling Brook Restaurant. I thought it was just that. Okay. Along North Street, recently, there have been two uh, rather large uh, I don't know what you're the plan for the whole mansions constructed yeah. on land that used to be part of uh, a greenhouse operation commercially uh, selling mums and poinsettias. When the land was subdivided, uh, they uh, sorry. two houses and along the street, there's a retaining wall made of rocks, and it's beautiful, perfectly vertical. I could show you a hundred pictures of that. Okay, so it's possible to do that. Yes. Okay, and uh, there's still somebody out there that knows how to do it today, because that's been done in the last five years. First one section and then the second section. Okay. Uh, if you uh, may, maybe I maybe it's not North Street. It's, uh, it's Fisher. Fisher, Fisher Street, Street. Uh, at that spot. In that spot, the, you get on at uh, near the Aggie School, going towards uh, uh, Bubbling Brook Restaurant. Okay. Take a look and. To me, that's what a rock retaining wall looks like. I don't think we would debate okay. that at all. So, so when I say I would accept a rock retaining wall, that's the picture I have. And to me, that would be acceptable. That wall, as constructed, will be there for 100 years or more. Okay, and there are many of them around. And the commission okay. has approved them before. Yeah, right. so, so I, I s have nothing against uh, rock walls if they're done uh, and meet the specifications necessary. So that, that's where I'm coming from when I say I would accept uh, as a minor modification a rock wall. I don't accept a loose placement of rocks just willy-nilly, any old place uh, with no structural uh, integrity. Uh, now, as an engineer, when you uh, set the letter, Craig, uh, you uh, refer to structure and and all, uh, I don't know whether you would approve uh, a rock wall that's done correctly or not, uh, uh, but to me, uh, it has to meet the same specifications as the precast concrete wall. A rock wall certainly can be designed to be functional, and it may be describing one that has a vertical face to it, maybe a slight batter, I don't know. Yeah. But yes, they can be done. Fewer and fewer tradesmen are around to do That's them correct. Days, That's correct. But there are still some... You and I didn't have a problem when we specified <laughs> those. But things have changed, unfortunately. Okay. But no, they can be done. And if you go out to Ross Common, the new subdivision out, also off of... Uh, Fisher. 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 Yeah. They're, they've done them all over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't think we would ob object to that concept at all. Um, as long as, and you're saying the same thing, it is designed for the same function. It's provided with a foundation. It's provided with the appropriate top elevation. It's graded properly above it. It's not touching literally with two feet away from the footings of some of the porches and decks, which leave virtually no space for a fence. And, and, it, and if it's provided with a cap, 
and it's secured with, mm. I believe, maybe some degree of, of masonry type of work along with it. Um, and it meets all of those functionality criteria, and I don't think we would be opposed to that. So we but to meet all that we're reacting significantly to past performance, and we watched them send high school kids in to fix it a year ago. And this is what you got. And I, I feel that it's extremely important there be very specific requirements with dates and with <coughs> oversight by an independent party. Okay, so can we come up with like a list of, of what's going to go into this minor modification so that we can move along with it happening? I mean, uh, on my wish list, it would be to know, um, th there's a little comment, um, we, we need to fill up the voids. Fill up with what? And is it an acceptable way to fill up the voids? Another thing that I was just noticing, Amidio and I were just noticing, is that on the um, original plan, which is hard to read here, the wall go it is in fact drawn very close to these decks. So whatever is approved really has to take into consideration those decks. I mean, if it, it's, it's, it's right up against them. So someone approved this, and, and we don't approve that kind of thing, which board does it. But given uh -huh. that the wall is, is so close to the decks, mm -hmm. that has to be part of the parameter. So, I mean, can, can we approve this as a minor modification, but with the list of what we consider to be a correctly done rock wall so that there's not a misunderstanding? I'm, I'm seeing a misunderstanding in the email that we got from the, the, um, the developer by saying that there, he, he says in here there's a small amount of erosion. So right away we've, we've got sort of a dichotomy of you know, exactly how much erosion is there, but I don't want to hear it called a small amount of erosion. So can we, can we do that? Can we, what, what, minor Isaac, modification, we, vote on what it. What language do you want to specifically put in? So, Or you say so. comply with the regulations, comply with the requirements for a wall yeah. with the yes. intent Right. And that's so. what they have to do. Okay. Or if you want very specifics. So I, I want a few specifics. What? So I, I want to remind the developer correct grading. I, I, I want okay. to remind so the developer. So one is correct. Okay. I, I'm, so. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be no. difficult correct. or anything. No, but but, we but my I'm not an engineer. No. no. We're, we're not the engineering no. board. We're the Conservation no. Commission. Right. It's the building be. inspector. Right and the planning board right. who look at these specifics. We're there to protect the wetlands. So I just don't, mm -hmm. I just want to make sure you're not overstepping and, right. and asking for requirements because they're concerned mm -hmm. for their property, right. which so I perfectly understand. I, which I perfectly that. understand. Kay. However, <laughs> whenever you ask an applicant to do something, you always have to be conscious of enforcement. And we have to have a reason to enforce. So, so yeah, we'll what would be erosion? So that's why Kevin's saying compliance with the plan because that's something that was approved. Uh, it, but yes. the, so it for the be grading, a minor modification provided that it complies with the the intent uh, of the of the original approved wall grading slopes. Um, Design details. Design, and, yeah. And location. Design detail, well, location. Without getting, the, the rocks need to be X feet, you know what I mean? We don't need to get into all that because, as Landa said, that's the purview of the yeah. building inspector. So yeah. does that make sense? So, Do you know what I mean? So, so you want, a, a, I, actually, not you, but he just said a design detail. So do you want them to come back with a design detail? Yes. Yes. We and we want it they've... by a certain date. Excuse me. Can I can I add a couple of details to that? <laughs> sure. Not not to, what would you to add? change it, but what I would add to it is that they're required to submit a detailed design mm -hmm. of the modifications to the wall with cross sections and um, elevations and topography of what it is they're committing to build submit that to you folks 
All of that stamped by their engineer. Then this is an amendment or a new notice of intent. It's not a minor modification. If you're requiring that, either has to meet, they either have to meet what <coughs> you've already approved and just use a different material, or or you need to have them do an amendment. That's not a minor modification. I, I w it, it, it's not because a minor is minor. If you're asking for details of plans and cross sections and and it different from what That's they've already the different from done. what different from what they've already submitted because we do have those in the plan that they already submitted. Yeah. Then so you, you they need to they need to, need to do an amendment, yeah. right. and it won't happen fast because they'll have to file the amendment with us. It'll have to be advertised with us. We'll have to hold another public hearing. We'll have to do an, uh, a better notification and and all that. If we, we own this problem going forward for the future. So a few months or whatever to get it done right is in everybody's best interest. And, and, and again, I, I, I would partially say the issue with a lot of these issues is not a conservation issue. It's a building inspector and a planning board issue. Um, so. So Landis is right. We can't we can't do more than what we're, we is our jurisdiction. Okay. Um, he has the specs for a wall. He needs to comply with those specs. That would that would move this thing along because then we could vote on a minor minor modification tonight, and then we'd be on to step two, um, which is. Um, answer some questions what are you going to chink the wall with to to prevent the erosion from coming what are out? the specs that he has for a boulder wall the, the closest he comes to that is the interlocking engineer precast wall that isn't a spec for a boulder wall that's which, a spec which for has a which has a base wall. to it pardon me which has has a base to it so if they use the base they have to show that they've used the base for the boulder wall then it has certain elevations Yeah, I guess I'm a little bit confused. Um, there is no spec on the table that I've seen for that, that I've there to comply with as a boulder wall. There is a spec in terms of performance need, which gives you elevations and foundations and type of construction and so on, that was approved by the Planning Board and by the Conservation Commission. <coughs> Well, okay, and I'm going to say the same thing. If if he can build a rock wall that meets the specifications that are inherent in the whatever the brand concrete wall is, uh, I I don't have a problem. But if he can't meet the specifications and the uh, plan, then he can't build a rock wall. So, so maybe uh, we should not approve this as a uh, minor modification and, uh, you know, Based on the fact that it's what fourteen hundred feet long or something of that. Four hundred and fifty. Yeah, uh, that's not a minor, minor construction project. So uh, we could say that this isn't a minor change, and therefore it has to be treated as a major change, and and require him to file for an amendment. I don't think uh, any project that big is minor. You know, if somebody wants to put a little uh, five by six uh, building to put their lawnmower in, uh, in the backyard somewhere uh, within the, their property, that's probably a minor change, but if he wants to build a two-car garage, uh, that's not a minor change. So uh, this the magnitude of this project is not a minor 
change. So if you want to look at it from that point of view, uh, we can require him to and, file for and, and again, I, I ask what, I, I mean, the way I go out there and I look at the wall and I see, I do see erosion coming from the top. I see erosion coming from, <coughs> from the boulders as far as protection of the riverfront area because actually the wetlands is way far away. I, I, I see um, a, a letter from a structural engineer saying it is structurally sound physically structurally sound but there's erosion coming from the in between the boulders and there's erosion coming from the top so the way I look at it is okay that that needs to be fixed so there isn't dirt coming from the top and there's not dirt coming from the different boulders because that's erosion and that sediment that's getting into the riverfront area and may get into the wetlands um, but if it's structurally signed it's not going to fall down so to me, if they fix those points, that it should meet the intent of it being a wall to protect the resource areas. Is it a wall that may need more maintenance, which you've put in your letter? It doesn't look good. Um, it th those kind of things. That's that's different. That's not really protecting the wetlands. It's something that you're right. You bought a piece of property thinking the wall was going to be one way, and it was done another way. That, those are more civil issues. They're more building inspector issues, maybe planning board issues. Um, so if you want this board to, to fight for something else, which you had indicated before, what you really want is the Allen Wall to be built. I'm not sure the how that, that can happen. <laughs> you, they could tear down the wall that's there and build the Allen Wall in its place. Because you can't really build an Allen wall on the other side of the rock wall. Well, that hasn't been surveyed, so we don't know that they can't. You, well, you can't because they've already used up the amount of riverfront area that they're allowed to go into. Yeah, but that's never been proven, Landis. They never surveyed that wall that's there. Well, they did survey that wall. <laughs> well, they surveyed it, but I've never seen any detail from it. Well, you don't have to. The, this board has to. <laughs> So you've got a survey map of that wall that locates the wall relative. They they to provided one digitally to me uh, today or yesterday, okay. um, and I need a copy of it, paper copy of it. So so we. But the assumption being, because we do have to give people the benefit of doubt that it was constructed where it's supposed to be constructed, and that they've already um, used up the the amount of riverfront. So there's so no room to go in front or back of it. There's no about. room to go in front because you would be working more in the riverfront area. So what would you say? Well, that's okay because because some people think the wall, you know, possibly could fall down, but you're working further in the riverfront area, which they're not allowed to do. So Is that a state? That's why I don't want to go around in circles because I want, there needs to be an end, end what are we looking at towards the end? I think everyone's willing to to work with you to an outcome that everyone thinks is 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 going to work best for them. But I think that can be demonstrated through a major change and not a minor change. And so along with that's got to come detailed drawings and commitments. So what? To what I'm sorry. Do. Just go back again. What should be? Well, you said that if if it wasn't a minor modification and you in. Maybe you didn't say that part of it. If if you were to require submittal of cross sections and details and topography of what that wall would look like once modified and brought into compliance, then that would require a resubmittal and a hearing and so on. And if that's what it takes, then so be it. Um, because we don't see a way that that existing wall can be made to represent what it needs to be with just a few rocks and a few things put in and around it. They've got to change the elevation of the top of it and provide a cap. That is not likely to be done with what's there now. I don't know how you build what is needed to comply unless there's a major change or a major effort to say how they're going to do it. Show us a cross section. Show us a topography. Give us a commitment that can be measured as an as-built when they're done to show that they've, in fact, done what the original approval 
called for in terms of functionality. So if this, as Al said, if this was a wall, a stone wall built with the proper elevations, <laughs> with the fence on the top, we would accept that as a minor modification, would we not? I, I believe so. I okay. believe in the past, yeah. so, so I, I think that's what so they that's need what they to do. do. And if that's, they can't, that's what they need then to they have to come back and say, we right. can't. So, <laughs> and so yes. now we have to do this. So you, developer, need to that's build a wall, the proper elevations, with the fence on the top that meets the same, as good as uh, whatever was. Right. So that's what we're asking them to do right. by a certain and date. And so that's why they, I would if they can't, then they can't. But we. That's why we're not specifying certain, uh, you know, size stones and this and that. That's not our purview. So I we're asking for a stone wall that meets all the, the, the performance standards that you, that they had, or we had um, approved. approved. So they need to come back and say, here it is. We built the fence. We built it at a proper elevation. And here's the, or, geez, you know what? We can't do that. We got to go. Have, but, but then so they that's have to not. That's up. To, the rest of it is up to. Option. Hold on one second. The rest yeah. of it is up to the building inspector. But they need to come. This is, those are our general specs. We can't get into specifics. The building inspector can. But we. All we want is proper height, proper grade fence, protect the wetlands, no uh, erosion. Yes. That's what we're asking okay, for. Well, so and and that's what we're gonna. That's what they need to give us. They haven't done that in yet. In detail, with cross sections well, and I, elevations. No, and no, again, no, see, no. you're asking for building inspectors. Go, go to the building inspector now. That they can do that. We address our letter to the building inspector. Okay, then. 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 Have, they, have they chimed in on this? Has anybody? I, I don't know. I don't know. Have you heard from Mike Landis? Not recently. No. You, you have to understand. It's always best for us. We we have to hold them their feet to the fire of what we've approved. And if they can't meet that, then they have to show us what's next, okay? You can't, you can't meet this, so what are you gonna do now? Right. It, it, it's not good practice and it never works very well and it's really hard to enforce for us to tell them what to do. It just, it's not what the board does. You do set limitations. What? You do set limitations. That they have to comply to the plan that was approved by the commission. And right. if they can't, then okay. they have to come back and show us, well, what do they do now? Right. Okay. So by a certain date. By right. a certain date. And, what, and so what was that? What is a, a reasonable date? I don't know. Okay, First wait, of all, wait. not showing up tonight. I mean, it's sort of like I, I thought we were going to have them. Remember, I was a little bit worried about that two weeks ago. I said, well, what mm -hmm. if they don't show up tonight? Yeah. Then we'll have okay. an, another conversation without them around. Well, yeah. Okay. So, 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 so we're just now starting to get into the time when many contractors uh, are starting to do their spring work. Okay, so... Uh, uh, it's possible probably to do this job between now and and the end of June, but I don't think it's possible to do that whole stretch of wall much before the end of June. No, no. But how about by next meeting that they they have and I and I have stressed this a plan specifically how what right. they need first of all they've sure. looked at the as built right. they've looked at the original plan okay the right. grades aren't meeting we don't have a capstone on top of this wall yeah. there's holes all over the place and to provide us with written plans specifically how they're going to come in compliance with the plan yep. and if they can't tell us they can't okay yeah. so by next meeting mm -hmm. sure. by the 25th could we ask that be the second meeting? <laughs> um, Give them until the, the Some of us are going to be out of town on the 25th. And um, I'd ask that it be two meetings from now, which okay. gives them four okay. weeks to, right. okay. to do right. their thing. Right. Okay. In, in April. Yeah. April 8th. Okay. April 8th. Okay. That's fine with me. So this says we will begin work on the wall within the week. And that's as of March 11th, so the week going okay. forward, and establish some timeline with the board. Right. So I'll stress to him. I'll stress to him that the the commission wants you to come to a hearing and specifically tell us you've looked at the as built plan that you just did, and you've looked at the proposed plans, and 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 have a written description of how you're going to fix things yeah not just go out there and start right. doing whatever does that okay. make sense yeah, yeah. by mm -hmm. april 8th but, but, but does that mean we're calling this a minor modification 
at the moment. Well, it seemed like that was what you were agreeing right. with. You know, we can always write enforcement or you're not in compliance with the wall that you need to do this, that, and the other thing. Right. This isn't the end of the story for sure. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Because I think that's, okay, it's a minor modification as far as the material. Now yeah. it has to now. comply with the plan, and that's sort of, the, to me, that's the, the meat, of, meat of what's wrong. Um, but okay. So the minor modification is about the material. Right. But then we're adding in a few little odds and ends <laughs> just Fine. to remind them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, they need to do it the way it's supposed yeah. to be done. Yeah. Right, and we need we need to know what how you're gonna do it, right. how you're yep. gonna fix it, right. and so that kind of forces them. If they can't fix it, then right, plan B. <laughs> so maybe that should be in there too. And, and if and if and if you cannot build this, re fix this rock wall according to the original specifications, then you, then we need a plan B. Yeah. Okay, so we need to uh, have a motion to that effect. I'll move that. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> so did, I'm sorry, do they need the plan by April 8th or before that? Before that. Before so that. Say, yeah, yeah to, the, to discuss on April 8th. But, okay. Um, and they imply in their email that within <coughs> the week you're going to see a plan. I know, so but that's... Yeah. So you want I mean, I talked to him three times today, so I, I would say they seem to be... So you want to see see something from him uh, next week uh, um, in preparation? Yeah. It, yeah. It, so, so, yeah, like the, usually the week before the hearing. Mm -hmm. But so actually, no, I would say next week just because procrastination happens um, <laughs> so it, for a discussion and, yeah. and actually the emails that suggest that I mean I, I think that a, a discussion with you about stuff that works and stuff that doesn't okay mm -hmm. you need to include something about the roof drainage to going to the right place um, do, so they, do they already know that they are already planning to take care of that we, we can just remind them yeah. as well because uh, again you yeah. usually what happens they they you know either do a site visit before they request the certificate of compliance or they request the certificate of compliance and have the as belt and then we go out and there's a punch list they look at the plan and look at the order um no nope, that's not right nope you're not getting a certificate of compliance because that's doesn't yeah okay that's not right <laughs> um so we did talk about that in the field so the the, that has to be corrected because it, to me it could be an erosion problem mm -hmm. to have those PVC pipes just stuck into the detention basin. Mm -hmm. uh, Landis, would I be able to either get an electronic copy of the plans or come in? A anything they submit is public information, so. Okay. Yeah. okay. Is it a CAD drawing or is it a? I um I I don't know. You know they'll 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 often send a, sometimes people send a digital copy, but then I always ask for a um, hard copy afterwards. So you haven't gotten that yet. You haven't gotten the, the, the you haven't gotten a hard copy yet. Of what? Oh, I thought um, you meant what we're asking them to send mm -hmm. in. No, no, the the survey map that you referenced. Before. Oh, they they sent a digital copy. Is that something you yes. email? Yes. Or Yep. Could you do that, please? Um, and the other issue that I'll throw on the table is the galley manway access manways have never been installed. What is that? Uh, the what? There are Somewhere. some 10 galleys that collect roof drainage from um, 15 or more of the units, and they were installed without ma access manways. Yeah. Before you get to that North Street location, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's in here. So. And access manways are on the. They're on the approved drawings. I, I've never heard of that term. So is that that's a clean out or the yeah, emergency right there. overflow yeah. access manway? Yeah. Well, yeah. the the galley is a 500 gallon tank, yeah. perforated tank. All of the roof drains from the units go into those. Yeah. And 
the oh. drawing. You mean you're talking about the rear ones, the new ones? Well, yes, that south side, they all have it, but there's some in the middle as well that have that shown on the drawings. The detail that's in the approved drawings calls for an access manway into that tank for cleaning purposes. Uh, yes, and there is none provided. Like a, a cleaning Call portal. Okay, yeah, I just yeah, never heard of that term. Call them manholes, <laughs> man that's good. Okay. Is it a manway or a woman way? <laughs> man, manhole is good. Cleaning. Okay. Cleaning. Um, All right, I'll take a look at the plan. Yeah. So, so is that appropriate to mention in this letter, or is that a separate thing? Yeah, we can mention everything, yeah. Okay. I, I Might as well. I wrote it down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It, it sounds like it might be, well, it, it depends. Uh, what, what, what my brain is doing is if, if, if it's outside of the, the jurisdiction of the commission, is it something that we can Roof enforce? Roof drainage is our jurisdiction, though. Um, only, only what's jurisdiction is the part that infiltrates into the ground so if the infiltration of the roof drain was part of the infiltration infiltration requirement yes okay but clean out of infiltration systems is our jurisdiction too if the infiltration is part of the infiltration calculation yes okay <laughs> it, i'm sure it is right i i don't know <laughs> it, it's an impermeable surface so i would suspect it is <clears throat> and the roofs are impermeable and it's right, new. so they do a calculation of what percentage of the property needs to be infiltrated into the ground. I understand. So it, sometimes they put the roof infiltrations in just to, to do it, or because of the planning board says it. So. They're on the approved drawings. I don't but if it's outside jurisdiction, it's not for us to enforce. But I will check it. <laughs> it lots, lots of times we get multiple, we get the same set that goes to the planning board or the zoning board or, or other jurisdictional areas, but it doesn't mean that every single thing on that plan is our jurisdiction. So that that's, and my mind is always going with, when I'm asking a developer to do something, I have to have some authority <laughs> behind that request. Otherwise, it, it doesn't carry. So that's that's why. I, that's why I want to just make sure. All right, you're welcome. Got around that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 I will put it in the letter. That was just I just can't imagine like, putting in a, an expensive drainage system just for no good reason. Um, and so if you are putting it in for good reason, then you do need to clean it up. I agree with that. And if you don't have a way to clean it out, then what did you just waste your money on? Yes. Okay, so um, where's the agenda? I think we're done everything. You wrote in the back of it, so. Oh, probably. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're done. Um, down underneath into the ground. Yep, we're done. The wall right. the stone Do you want to vote to identical. adjourn, guys? Um, I will move to adjourn. <laughs> second that, immediately? Sure, I'll second that. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.